and welcome back to another awesome video. Or should I say an amazing video? Maybe it's because I've made Card Captain Sakura's awesome one and I'm going to show you guys how to make it in this video. So let's go! So the first thing is you're going to need the stick base for the wand and it is 72 um, centimeters long for it. So if it's a little bit longer you can cut it and the color of it will be this pretty petal pink color um, says that on the title and you'll just need to paint it the whole thing in that color so guys right here I have finished painting the base of the one it took two coats of paint to do so the next part we're going to be going on with is the head of the one and right here I have a large foam ring that I got from Spotlight and um, what what I've done here is I've drawn a circle a rough circle that um, we'll be cutting into so it doesn't matter if it's perfect because it'll be cut into and then be stuck on the um, the end of the one. okay guys so what I've done now is I have cut it out this hole with the Stanley knife. Now it fits perfectly onto the star like that. So now we're going to glue it in. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to paint it um, with the same paint and, what we're, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to do two coats of paint just like on the base. So guys, now I've finished painting the head of the wand and it's looking really nice. Both sides look great and it's matching the colour of the body now. And the next thing we're going to be doing is the clay and that's going to be here and at the end. We need to make a little space to put these jewels in at the front and back because it has those. Um, so just so it's not like a wobbling, we need to just push it down into it a little bit. So then now we have it on both sides. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're finally on to painting and what we're going to do is we're going to paint gold all along the white parts of clay. So here, and here, but not here, this is going to be red.
So next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be sticking the gems on with a hot glue gun. So now we have both gems on both sides. Okay, so we've painted both parts of the body. The next part is the star that goes in the middle of the wand's head. This is also going to be painted gold. Okay guys, so the star is finished. But again, this next part had to be filmed off camera because it was a very fiddly part and I needed to be very precise with it. So obviously you can see nothing looks like it's been changed. But on here, I've made little tiny holes because this is how we're gonna put the star in. So there's ones here, here and all along for every angle of the star because the star also has little holes on each angle because the star isn't as big to fit which sadly that's just the case but it's not big enough to fit all the angles to glue them on so we're going to use wire to stick the star in so these little bits of wire you need five for each angle and these will just fit in through the hole matching to where the other hole is for the star to fit in and they need to be three centimeters long and then we're going to stick it in Okay guys, so all the wires are stuck into the star and the circle and it's all done here. The only last part we gotta do is the wings. Okay, so this is the last thing we need to do for the wand, which is the wings. And what I've done here is I've made a paper stencil of a wing. I've just traced it on paper and then I've traced it on a white piece of foam. And we'll need to do this again because we need two wings. Okay, so these are the two wings that we're going to be using to stick on the sides of the wand. So where we're going to be cutting on the wand is going to be where these dots are on here. So around here it needs to be 9 centimeters, and then on here it needs to be 4.5 centimeters, and then do the exact same thing on the other side. Also, you want to be careful if you are cutting near here. Remember that the wires are poking in, so you want to be careful not to go too far in or else the wires will stick out. So these are the slits for the wings, and we're just going to glue the wings in now with Elmer's glue. So there you go guys, the wand is officially done. I think it looks an amazing and it's awesome and I can't believe we're finally done with it. So yeah, 
this would be perfect for a cosplay to do card captor sakura comment down below if i should do a cosplay of card captor sakura i feel like i end i will end up doing that because whatever weapon i make i obviously have to make the character as well so yeah i really love this um it looks awesome and yeah so if you really like this video please give me a big 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 thumbs up and comment down below Sakura cosplay and yeah so and turn your notifications on for more videos I'm sorry this actually ended up a bit late but um yeah it just I needed to take the time of making such a beautiful wand um so yeah I'll see you next time bye